Hello everybody and welcome to one of our how-to guides. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to give you some inspirational ideas on using Gypsol Filler. So the jib I'm using today is called My Pink and we're going to create a pomanda suitable for a bridesmaid possibly to carry or you might even just want to hang it from um, uh, suspend it rather over the top of a of a table or something for an event um, yeah, it can work really well especially if you pop little um, battery lights in so if you've got a party outside you want to add extra lighting then that works perfectly so the tools that I have today are a oasis sphere which we've soaked I've got some 10 millimeter um, plum double face satin ribbon here I've got my usual floristry toolkit, which consists of scissors, a 12 millimeter anchor tape, parafilm. Now these are garden canes that I've literally just cut into small sections. And I have a 71 by 180 millimeter, uh, by 360, sorry, 71 by 360 millimeter um, florist wire. To add to my lovely jib, my pink, I have a standard carnation here. This one is called Moon Aqua. So I hope you enjoy it.
Well, thank you for watching our how-to guide today on creating a pomander with carnations and gypsophila. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have a couple of top tips for you when you're, you're making one of these. Don't over-soak the oasis because you'll find it makes it very, very heavy. You'll also get a lot of drippage when you're holding it, which will run all the way down your arms <laughs> and be quite uncomfortable. So don't over-soak the oasis. Also, it's quite difficult to manoeuvre uh, the sphere when you're arranging it. So you have to be quite delicate in the positioning of your hands. So as you probably saw from our video, I've actually delicately placed my fingers in between flowers and sort of supported the sphere on the tip of my fingers so that I can then place other flowers into to the sphere. You need to be really careful. You can't lay the um, pomander down because you, there's risk of bruising the flowers. Not quite so bad with carnations and gypsophila because they're quite durable uh, and quite resilient. But if you're using white spray roses or something that's very delicate, freesias for example, that's going to bruise very, very easily, then you are going to have to be very, very careful on where you position your fingers. When it's finished, uh, you could make it up the day before a wedding or the day before an event. That wouldn't be a problem simply because the sphere is wet. But make sure you mist the flowers once you've finished and suspend it somewhere in a nice cool, um, dark atmosphere until you're ready to display it. And it should give you many happy hours of, of enjoyment. <laughs> so, as I say, thank you so much for watching us today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date uh, with what's happening. Continue watching for more videos using Jip and other flowers. We give you lots of inspirational ideas, things that you can create, can create for functions and for the home. And why not spoil yourself? <laughs> you deserve it. So don't forget to share, like us and comment below. And keep those questions coming and we'll answer them as best we can. All right, look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Thanks for joining us and bye for now.